At Wings EV, we're on a mission to solve the traffic congestion problem by building the ultimate city ride of the future. Today, I'm very excited to make a global product announcement and reveal the EV that my team and I at Wings have been working on for five years now. After spending 17 years in Silicon Valley working in tech, I decided to move back to India to help solve the traffic congestion problem, which is getting worse with every passing day. Back in the 60s and 70s, India's streets, like China's, were buzzing with bicycles. As Indians became richer, the bicycles were replaced by scooters and motorcycles. Today, more and more people want to trade in their scooters for the safety and comfort of a car. And the cars are themselves becoming bigger and bigger. But the roads can't keep getting wider. So we have an ever-worsening traffic congestion problem. You see, cars and SUVs are selfish. They're good for those inside them, they keep them safe and comfortable, but they're terrible for everyone else. They make our cities less walkable, less livable, less pleasant. So we asked ourselves, what would be the ideal city ride? We think it would combine the mobility of a scooter with the safety and comfort of a small car. It should take care of both the people inside and the people outside. At Wings, this is what we've been working on for five years now. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Robin, the ultimate city ride. It's a tandem two-seater quadricycle. It's so compact, it has the dimensions of a motorbike. So you have one seating in the front, one in the back. It, it runs 90 kilometers on a single charge, so which is plenty to get around town. And it can charge in just four hours with a standard power socket. So you don't need expensive charging equipment or um, infrastructure. Isn't it beautiful? We'll start taking orders for Robin in Q4. It'll come in three variants with a price starting at just $2,500. We built Robin based on talking to hundreds of customers across India about their problems with their everyday commutes, their, their difficulties with dust and pollution on a scooter, and their misery with driving a car in the city. Based on talking to um, these people, we decided that our customers were people who valued safety and comfort. This includes young professionals, families, and retirees. But really, who doesn't care about safety and comfort? So really, Robin is for all of us. Our initial market is India, the world's largest two-wheeler market, where they sell 20 million two-wheelers every year. Since our vehicle is an upgrade over a two-wheeler, we expect the initial market size to be between 1 to 1.5 million vehicles a year. This is in line with China, where just last year they sold 1.75 million low-speed EVs. But India is just our initial market. We plan to expand globally to Southeast Asia, Latin America, and of course Europe. After all, Robin is the ultimate city ride for dense congested cities around the world. We started our journey back in 2018 and bootstrapped the initial vehicle development. We raised a seed round in 2019 from institutional investors and Silicon Valley angels. We built several alpha prototypes and ran extensive customer validation in 2021, uh, hundreds of interviews, hundreds of test drives, thousands of endorsements over social media. And today we have a production ready vehicle, which we start to, to, we plan to start production in Q4. We're looking to raise a series A to bring Robin to the market. We were looking for investors who believe in us and who want to build a better future for our cities. So join us in helping build the ultimate city ride. First of all, I love quadricycles. I think but this is a brilliant product. Um, what I want to know is, you say it's 2,500. That's right. That seems extraordinarily cheap. Um, kind of makes you question safety. I mean, how did you get it to that, that, that cost? So, so let's, let's quickly go through this. So first of all, Indian standards for L7 are identical to Europe. 
And because this is an L7 vehicle, we have to pass a crash test. So, so we have crash test, uh, tested roll cage. We have seat belts on, on both front and rear. Uh, we have uh, a LFP battery pack, which is far safer in Indian conditions. So we, we obsess about safety in, in, in all forms. The way we were able to bring down the price point to this level is by thinking of design as, as saying no to things that our customers don't want. So this doesn't have a touch screen. This doesn't have a keyless entry. There are several fancy things it doesn't have. We right size the specs very well. So this doesn't have a, a fast acceleration. It doesn't have an extraordinary long range because our customers don't need it. And so you have a smaller motor and a smaller battery, which makes the cost lower. So a lot of it is about thoughtful design and careful engineering. I, I am a believer in this category and a big believer in this market, particularly India. I think you've also done a great job making a tiny car look good, which is not easy. What's your moat? Like, why? What's your barrier? Like, why can't somebody else just do the same thing? Um, it wouldn't be easy to do this in part because of the combination of the supply chain that we've assembled and the combination of technology we've built. So the thing I didn't mention here is we have a, a, a one-of-a-kind drive-by wire powertrain. So this vehicle has two hub motors in the two rear wheels, which are completely independent and driven by a, a software control. Uh, this makes the vehicle more compact. It allows us to do active stability control. Ten seconds. Uh, and, and, and so, which makes it far safer, far more stable.